Where can I find research articles with the corresponding code? That is the question that I get asked quite often. And so I figured that it would probably be a great idea if I create a video about it. And so in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can have access to the research papers along with the corresponding code. And so without further ado, let's get started. And the website that I'm talking about today is called Papers with Code. And I'll provide you the link in the description down below. Go ahead and type in paperswithcode.com. And this is the website that we're going to talk about today. So as you can see from the main website, you have a search box where you can search for the papers or the code or the task that you would like to find. And what it essentially will provide you with is the research paper along with the corresponding code. And so on the front page here, you see that there is the trending research. And as the name implies they are the research that are trending and what you will see here are the screenshot of the papers or the graphical abstract the name of the research article parts of the abstract which will essentially tell you what this paper is about and on the right you will see the number of stars that it has received on github and it provides you the link to the original paper as well as the code on github and you will also see the tag that this research article is referring to and so let's Let's start out with having a general look at this website. So let's click on the about. And so what we see here is the mission of this website, which is to create a free and open resource with machine learning papers, code and evaluation tables. And so what this essentially means is that the website will provide you with the papers, the corresponding code and the evaluation table. And so the evaluation table is the prediction results that each of the paper are referring to. So I'm going to show you that in just a moment. And so as you can see in the last sentence of the mission, they have automated the linking of of code to papers and they are also working on automating the extraction of evaluation matrix from the papers and so the evaluation metric as i briefly mentioned is essentially the prediction results from the models that are mentioned in the original papers so let's say that there are 100 papers in this website and each of the paper let's say that they are using the same benchmark data set and let's say that paper one reported a accuracy of 0 0.8 and paper two reported an accuracy of 0.81 and both of them are using the same benchmark data set and so what we can essentially see is the comparison of the prediction accuracy from each of these two papers and so if there are 100 papers reporting prediction accuracy from the same benchmark data set, then we're going to see all of the 100 evaluation metrics. And so the cool part about this is that you can see the general performance increase or decrease that are occurring over time. And so I'm going to show you that in just a moment. And so if you would like to contribute to this open source project, you can feel free to have a look and do so. And if you would like to download the entire data set that constitute this website, then feel free to click on the downloading data. So they will provide you all of the papers with the abstract and the links between the papers and code, along with the evaluation tables, all of them in JSON format. And so here they mentioned that the contents have been parsed from 60,000 papers and they have manually annotated task and data set in 1600 archive abstract from the last three months of 2018 and hundreds of papers on popular machine learning tasks with evaluation metrics were derived from the following sources and so if you're interested in having a look at the code that were used for scraping and importing the data you can click on this link okay and so let's have a look at the trends and so in the trends section, you're going to see the computational framework that were used in the papers contained within this website. So here you can see that there are PyTorch, TensorFlow, JAX, MXNet, Cafe2, and other languages and framework. And so you can see the general popularity of these over time and the market share. So here in the trends, we can see that in March 2016, other languages and framework accounted for 65%, whereas the number two would be TensorFlow, and PyTorch was number three at 3%. And it should be noted that the percentage here are based on the GitHub repository contained within this website and the time at which it was published. And so here we see that in June 2016, other language accounted for 77%, number two is TensorFlow, at 
at 19%, number 3, Cafe 2 at 2%, number 4, PyTorch at 1%. And as we progress over time, we can see that other languages is starting to decline and TensorFlow is gaining momentum along with PyTorch. We see that by March 2017, other languages accounted for only 56%, TensorFlow increased to 34, PyTorch increased to 8. And over time, the PyTorch market share started to increase as well, right? And we see that other languages started to decline 40%, 39%. And we can see here that by 2018 in June, PyTorch is rivaling TensorFlow at 27% versus 32%, and other language at 40%. And then let's fast forward to December 2019. We can see that TensorFlow became number one at 44%. Number two is other languages. Number three is TensorFlow at 23%. And by March 2020, number one is also PyTorch at 49%. Number two, other language. Number three, TensorFlow at 20%. And so we can see here that over time, PyTorch gained momentum and became number one. And so in summary, we can see here that the initial technology that were used were other languages, which could be traditional machine learning algorithms. And we started to see that the trend started to increase to using TensorFlow and PyTorch slowly emerged. And so over time, PyTorch gained momentum and by 2020, it became number one. Okay, and so let's have a look at the code availability. So the code availability is here, the percentage of published paper that have at least one code implementation. And so we could see that in March of 2016, it had 13%, meaning that 13% of papers came along with the code. And we're starting to see a general increase over time and by December of 2019 the percentage increased to 23% for the code availability okay and here they summarize how did they collected the data from the github repository okay and so let's have a look back at the front page so let's click on the first entry here and so we could see the name of the research article, the date at which it was published, the name of the co-authors, the abstract of the paper, and we could click on read more to have a look at the entire abstract. And the corresponding PDF of the research article is provided here, which you could click on. Okay, and so this is the research article PDF. Let's head on back. And the abstract from the original website, which is the same thing here. And the code is right here. You can click on this link. And the number of stars on GitHub will be the metric that were used for ranking the papers in this website. And each entry are assigned the keyword task here. So if you would like to find more papers about this tag, you can just click on it. For example, common sense reasoning or sentence completion or language modeling. And so here is the results from the paper. And remember I told you about the evaluation table. And so this is the evaluation table. And so the evaluation table will tell you the task at hand and the data set name, the model, the metric name, such as the accuracy F1. Okay, and the metric value is the corresponding value of the accuracy or the F1. And the global rank is the rank that this particular paper has attained in comparison with other papers reporting the same prediction task using the same benchmark data set as this one okay and i think that's all for this paper entry here and so let's click on back and as mentioned before this is the star that has been assigned by the number of people bookmarking the particular github repository and so the number of star here indicate the popularity of this particular paper and so this is the trending research and we could click on the latest and they will be the ones that are recently published and so here in may 28 2020 right they are the recent papers and so if we scroll down, 27 May 2020, 26 May 2020, right? So this is sorted by the date, okay? From the latest date to the older dates. And let's click on the greatest here. 
And so the greatest here is the top papers of all time, meaning that they have the most stars on GitHub. And so the original paper describing TensorFlow had the highest rank at 144,000 stars here. And the second is also the paper associated with TensorFlow. And the third is Scikit-Learn, okay, with 40,800. PyTorch had fourth and fifth. Six also is PyTorch. And so this particular section is very good for beginners and those who are enthusiastic about machine learning and deep learning. And if you would like to get more serious into the details, then have a look at these important papers and look at the code and get a general idea of what they are about. Okay, so now let's have a look at the browse state of the art. And so the good thing about this section is that the papers will be categorized into several sections. And so here we see computer vision, and then there are subsection as well. And if you would like to have a look at all of them, you could click on see all 782 tasks. So this is under computer vision, and there's natural language processing. And under natural language processing, you will see machine translation, language modeling, question answering, sentiment analysis, text classification. And so this is very nice in that if you would like to have a look further into learning about sentiment analysis, and so here's your chance to have a look at the original research papers along with the corresponding code so that you could download the code and play along with the code, get a glimpse, get an idea of what the code has to offer and learn from the code while you're at it. So for those of you who are into medical area, then this is particularly interesting for you. You could have a look at medical image segmentation, drug discovery, lesion segmentation, brain tumor segmentation, brain segmentation, and there are 186 more tasks. And papers that are describing about methodology improvements are here in the methodology section. And so they are divided into representation learning, transfer learning, word embedding, domain adaptation, data augmentation, and there are 124 additional tasks. So you could click on here to have a look at the full task list. And miscellaneous, right? So they are topics that are not categorized into any particular section. Graphs related topics, playing games, Atari games, Starcraft, part one and part two, real-time strategy games, so if you are into esports, then have a look at this particular section. Okay, and so if you're interested in speech and audio, then this would be for you. If you're into time series analysis, then this section is for you. Okay, and so audio is right here. Computer code, right here. Text to SQL, program synthesis, code generation, feature selection dimensionality reduction okay and so if you're into robotics then this section is for you if you're into music right here knowledge base adversarial reasoning okay so let's have a look at the first category here computer vision see all 782 tasks Okay, and so they could be broken down further into sub subcategories. Okay, segmentation, semantic segmentation, image classification, object detection, image generation, domain adaptation, right? And there's so many here. So, okay, so they're also related to computer vision. So medical image segmentation is contained here. And let's have a look back. And so we could see that, okay, if they're medical, then we could see that medical image segmentation belongs to both the medical category and the computer vision because they're related to both. Okay, and so there's also drug discovery. So let's have a look at drug discovery. Okay, so in the drug discovery here, there are this leaderboard and the leaderboard here tells you what is the general trend of the performance metric and the name of the data set and the name of the best method in this comparison and the paper title, the paper and the code. And so we can see here that no code is provided here. And the greatest paper with code is right here. So this is the paper by the DeepChem project. 
Let's have a look at the TOX21 data set. So let's click on this one. And so here we see that the trend of the performance AUC increases over time. So let's have a look here. We see here that in 2015, the method called GraphConv had AUC of 0.846. And over time, it increased slightly 0 0.854, 0 0.862, and 0 0.875. And it should be noted that over time, starting from 2015, the performance deteriorated 0 0.845, 781, 748. And so I'm not sure about the reason for the lower AUC. Probably they're trying out new things but they're not as good as the graph convy method okay and so this is particularly good in the sense that you could compare the different methods that are applied on the same data set and so if you're developing your own methodology so you could have a look at whether you could improve upon the performance when comparing to the previously published methods okay, let's have a look back Let's click on another data set, HIV data set. Okay, and here there are four papers. And the performance, 2015 gave 0 0.822, 2017 0.851, which increased. And then this context spread and RNN led to lowered prediction. Okay, so I think that you get a general idea of what this papers with code website is all about. And I think that it is particularly a good resource for newcomers to the field along with those who are more experienced as it allows you to learn directly from the code and read the paper at the same time and so if you're finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel and as always the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one but in the meantime Please check out these videos.